Hey guys, welcome back to another local modern video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install interior mods in Chuggers MP using Project DLM. Let's just jump straight into it. If you head into the description of the video, then head over to my website, or you can join the Discord server. We're just going to download a copy of Project DLM. So on the website, it's just this button here. If you do get an ad pop-up, make sure to close it off. And if you're on the Discord server, head into the Project DLM channel, and it's always the latest post at the bottom here. Once you've got this, if we head over to the local mod section, and go into interiors, and so we're going to browse here and see which interior we want. And on the Discord, that is just an interior channel underneath TMP local mods. I'm just going to download this Internux Blue super interior here. Once again, close off any ads if you get them. Now that that's all done, if we head over to our downloads folder, we just want to extract Project Airline. I'm just going to right click, extract here. And I'm going to do the same for the mod I downloaded. Now head in the project DLM, open it up. Now that we're in here, we want to go over to the tools section. And we need to make sure our game is closed for this part. We're going to click onto the dev slash console option. Now that we've done this, head over to the local mod section. And you'll see we'll be prompted to install a plugin. So we're just going to hit this download link here. Now with this downloaded, going to go into click open plugins folder. And in this folder, we need to extract the file we just downloaded. So if I go into my downloads here, click the bypass. It's going to slightly move that to the side. Now back in the plugins folder, just going to extract the file into here. Now, if we go back to Project DLM, we can see it has successfully detected it. Now, optionally, we can install the Prism cache fix. It is not needed. You can just cancel this off, but it is highly recommended. I'm personally going to be getting this. And with it downloaded, I'm just going to be doing the exact same thing. Open plugins folder, and I'm going to extract this. And the game has detected this. You won't have to do them steps every time. Once they're done, they are done. However, if any plugin does get an update, Project DLM will alert you when you're on this page. Now that we have done these steps, we can head into game and get into the truck, which we want to use. So I am just now in game. And I'm already in the Scania S Super, and I have my interior selected. Make sure you do select the right interior for the mod you want to use, or some of the UI elements might not work correctly. I'm just going to confirm this. Just going to hit escape, go to system, save game, and I'm going to make a save called mods. Make a note of whatever you call the save. Now we can just tap out of the game. Now that we're here, I'm just going to hit F5 just to do a quick refresh. So make sure you select your profile. Mine's already selected here. And then make sure to select your save. This will be the save you just created. 
now click on select downloaded mod just go to head over to the downloads folder and this is the folder we extracted before from the mod once you're at this stage and obviously you can see copy the docs on screen just going to hit select folder now hit install mod okay so the mod is installed however it has found that we need some extra plugins to get this working so just going to hit the download Once again, exact same thing, going to hit open plugins folder, going to extract the plugin into here, and we'll see in a moment, ALM has successfully found it, so we're going to click confirm. So in order for the mod to work correctly, we do have to type some command into the console. And then it's got the steps on screen here, a little screenshot just showing you what it should look like. And also we have the command right here. So I'm going to take note of this command for now. And then we're going to do it in a moment. It's going to hit I understand. And now we've got one more plugin which we need to install. Just going to hit the download. And once more, open plugins folder. Going to extract that in here. And Project DLM is founded. As I say, this is just the first time we're installing the mods, so we have to add these plugins. If you are installing future mods and you already have the plugins, you will not get these prompts. You will not have to do it again. So I'm going to click the confirm here. As you see, we've got one more here. This is just another command we need to run in game. Same as before, we have the steps here and a screenshot of what we need to do. So I'm going to take note of that command too, just an orange, and I'm going to hit I understand. With that all done, I'm going to go back into game here. Now in game here, I'm just going to give it a quick restart, just so it loads all the plugins, and then we'll be able to load our save. Just load it back into the game here. I'm just going to hit escape. It's going to go load game. And I'm going to load my modded save. Now it is a bit dark here, so I'm just going to move my truck over so I have a better view. You see, the interior is glitching out at the moment, but this is the point where we need to enter them commands from before. Hit the console key, and my command said R underscore interior space two. I'm gonna hit enter. See, that has fixed the interior there. And now we have one more to do, which is R underscore steering underscore wheel space zero. And there we go. We have the fully modded interior in Trucker's MP, and there's no glitching with this at all. It all looks perfect. When you next load up the game, you will not have to rerun any of them commands. They will stay in the state that you left them. Now, as I said, you only had to do all that for the first time there. For example, if we go to install a new mod, I'm just going to close ALM. Reopen it back up, hit the local mods. Since I've already got the plugins here, it hasn't prompted me. And when we go to install a mod, the only things it will tell us to do is the console commands. That's the R underscore interior two, and the R underscore steering underscore wheel zero. If you do have any issues, head over to the Discord server head over to the Ask for Help channel, and you can make a post in here explaining any issues you're having. Just new post, 
make sure you read the guidelines here, as if you do decide to not provide your game log, it will take longer to help you, and will, will not be possible to help you until you provide this. So just give it a title, a little message, what's going on, provide screenshots, and obviously provide your game log. With all that being said, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.